Okay, Dr. Mindy here. You guys asked, and so I'm bringing you the science on fasting and the gallbladder. So I dove into the research to see which fast will help your gallbladder condition and which will hurt it. So stay tuned. As I go through this, I'm going to give you the science. I'm going to explain how this darn gallbladder of yours works. And then I'll give you some real practical things on the, on the back side of this video that you can be doing with any gallbladder condition, whether they took your gallbladder out, you've got gallstones, things you're worried about with your gallbladder, fasting in your gallbladder, I'll answer it all here. And as always, you guys are so awesome. Thank you for sharing these videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. That's how we customize this for you. Enjoy. Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I wanna address fasting and your gallbladder, because we're getting this question a lot from you guys. So thank you as always for giving us your questions, giving us your comments, because that's how we create videos that are really custom for your needs. So I dove into the science on fasting and gallbladder issues in general. There's a lot of different things that affect the gallbladder. And what I have found was really interesting and something that I've never talked about on another fasting video. So get ready, because I am going to show you some uh, interesting science on what happens at, with different fasts at different timing, like as you fast longer, what's happening to your gallbladder, cholesterol, bile, we're going to dive into that. Before I do that, what I wanted to do is start off by, let's just explain the gallbladder because I think this is so important. So hang in here with me. I wanna give you a short understanding of what, why your gallbladder is not this solo organ that's just hanging out on its own. It actually works with other organs and you gotta get all of those working together in order for your gallbladder to really thrive. Or those of you who have had your gallbladder taken out, you still are gonna have to deal with these other organs and get them healthy. So for starters, I want you to think of, when you think of the gallbladder, I want you to think of three organs. They're a trio the gallbladder, the liver, and the small intestine. What happens is your liver is your main detoxifying organ. So heavy metals, uh, neurotoxins in our environment, air pollution, toxins in your food, um, infections, pathogens, all of that is gonna get filtered through the liver. The liver creates bile and bile gets stored in the gallbladder. And bile's job is basically to squeeze, come out of the gallbladder in the presence of fat and grab on to the toxins that are coming out of the liver and push them through the common bile duct into your small intestine and then out for excretion through your stools. So when your co-infections go up, candida, viruses, E. coli, infections that are either in the gut or in the liver, when your um, toxic level goes up, when your fat levels, or you're eating a lot of fat, all of these things are going up, you're asking these three organs to work incredibly hard. And eventually one of the organs are, is not going to work right. And that's usually the gallbladder. So they go and they pull the gallbladder out but now you've got two organs that have to do the job of three. So we've got to heal all three organs. We can't just be focused in on the gallbladder and removing the gallbladder didn't solve the problem. All it did is take the storage of bile and move it away, okay? So what is bile doing? Bile is doing several things. And I, again, I took this from science and I'll, I'll link it here in the studies or in the notes. Bile is getting, when bile gets pushed out through the gallbladder, it has got in it cholesterol, it's got steroid hormones, it's got bile salts, it's got electrolytes, vitamins, antibodies like IgA, it's got melatonin, glutathione, heavy metals, environmental toxins, and drugs. All of that is getting pushed out of this bile into the common bile duct. What they have found is that when, in, in the study I'm gonna show you, that when you fast between 10 and 20 hours, what happens is that this liver, the gallbladder, the small intestine, they all start detoxifying in a, in a, a magnified way when you're going between 10 and 20 hours. So it's all of a sudden these organs start detoxifying and cholesterol, your cholesterol levels will actually go up when you're doing a 10 to 20 hour 
fast. Over 20 hours, cholesterol and bile starts to go down. So the study was really interesting because it was showing that in a shorter fast, it appears that things like gallstones can be, become more prevalent, that you can have more gallbladder pain and, and it, you can accentuate some gallbladder conditions if you're doing those shorter fasts. Now I'm gonna give you some ideas on if you're doing fast between 10 to 20 hours, what you can be doing. But the number one fast you should be doing, if you have a gallbladder uh, problem of any kind, you gotta get over the 20 hour mark. Because at 20 hour mark is where the healing and the magic is gonna happen much quicker. This article even went on to say three to five day water fasts are fabulous for healing the gallbladder, healing the liver, healing the common bile duct, and bringing the cholesterol levels down. Okay? so. 10 to 20, if you're doing a lot of 10 to 20 hour fasts, here are some things I want you to do. I wanna make sure that when you do eat, you're mega dosing leafy green vegetables. That's gonna support your liver. You need to always be doing good fats, not bad fats. You gotta do castor oil packs on top of the liver on a regular basis. Coffee enemas are amazing. And then if you are an avid faster, you have gallbladder issues, you're not going over 20 hours, then you need to be doing, in that 10 to 20 hour mark, you need to be doing things like ox bile salts, bind, you guys know I'm a huge fan of bind, we'll put links in here. You need to be doing things that will help support the gallbladder and the liver during those fasts so that the cholesterol levels don't go up, okay? So super simple, one fast is going to increase the bad cholesterol, but it is a detox reaction, that's the 10 to 20 hour fast, once you go over 20 hours, now you go into this real healing of the gallbladder. So if you have a gallbladder condition, I would encourage you to do as many 20 hour and beyond fasts as possible. If you love somewhere between 10 to 20 hours, just make sure you're taking ox bile salts, make sure that you're using things like bind and make sure that you're supporting your liver with things. I will put the supplements in there that I like, LB, LS, those are great supplements to support the liver. So I'm not saying don't do it, just do it with intention, do it in a very systematic and smart way. Okay, there you go, fasting the gallbladder, let me know if that helps. Give me feedback. This is how we create more videos for you. And as always, I hope that helps.